Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce the next Galaxy Note. This is Galaxy Note 4. This is Galaxy Note 4. This new Note combines three key attributes. First, the most perfect and refined S Pen and S Note experience. And the second, the latest and the most advanced Galaxy technology. And the last three, all nicely presented through look and feel of a new design language. The Galaxy Note 4 will continue to set industry standard for how smartphone should help our lives become more enriched, more enjoyable, and more efficient. It's a great analogy, I think, Rachel. But oh, thank you. let's take you through the headline capabilities of the Galaxy Note 4. Design, large screen and multitasking, S Pen and camera. Okay. And Note 4 continues to lead the category with the beautiful 5.7 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED screen meaning you get sharper, brighter, and more legible image. So whether you're noting, browsing, reading, watching videos, or looking at photos, even under less than ideal light conditions, you'll still get a great viewing experience. Yeah, I mean, it really does provide a sharp image, just flicking through the pictures here. It's brilliant, you can't deny it. Um, but there are already smartphones on the market with Quad HD, aren't there? Well, Note 4 has Quad HD Super AMOLED, which means it gives you much more access to the available color space. We've advanced its design screen technology that we introduced in the Galaxy Tab S only just a few months ago, and even though it's a little smaller, it still has the same Super AMOLED display capabilities. So what you're saying is it's more compact, but it's just as powerful. That's right. a great way to put it. In fact, Super AMOLED is so much better, it's really not fair to compare. But the best way to understand is for you to see it for yourself. Okay, well, I think we'll keep fairness at the heart for today. Um, so I appreciate much of what you're saying really requires a head-to-head -head analysis. Um, but getting back to the real world for a minute, how is a real-life person going to notice the difference day-to-day? -day? Give me an example. Well, here's a great example. Multitasking. We know that people use the recent key to move between applications when they could work faster and easier if they could also use multi-window. But many users told us that they found it hard to find multi-window. So we concentrated the functions of multi-window inside the recent key, making it easier to locate and easier to use. There's so much more you can do in your daily life with Note 4's enhanced multi-window function. Take a look. This reporter, he's using his Note 4 to grab some research material and uses multi-window to prepare for an interview. OK, well, there's loads of ways you could imagine that being useful. And Rachel, if you head on over here, I'll show you another example. Please do. Wait for me. Thank you, David. That was fast. OK. I used to run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So I was talking with my friend on Google Hangouts. OK. okay. Tina, I haven't talked to her in a while. And she says, hey, I've been traveling. Check me out on Facebook. Yeah, just checking. Nothing incriminating on there. It's a no, good start. It's, yeah. Nope. So what I can do quickly is I just swipe, and it minimizes. And I can open up Facebook to check out what she's talking about. And just to make it clear, I move it up. And I have split view. So I can talk to her and see what she's talking about at the same time. And if I want to take a closer look at Facebook, I just minimize Hangouts. And you get the, the little icon at the top there? That's right. I can just move it around. And I can check out her photos more clearly. Hopefully and if I just press again, work. sometimes. It's sometimes okay. Facebook yeah. at work. I won't yeah. tell anyone. It's OK. We all do. But um, I can open it back up, and it's at pop out again. Well, David, I mean, you made that look really easy. Um, and one thing I noticed, you didn't use your fingers at all. It was all about the S Pen there. That's true. And I could have used my finger. But for certain tasks, the S Pen is quicker and it's more precise. 
OK, well, the S Pen, it's been around for a few years now, but can you tell me, I mean, why is it better than just using my finger? Because, I mean, there's the phrase at your fingertips, and that exists for a reason, doesn't it? Well, OK, this is a big question for our category. Samsung believes that the smartphone, to be truly smart, it must have multiple ways of input. For many things that you do on your smartphone, the pen is mightier than the finger or the thumbs. You may think you know this, but the next evolution of S Pen is capable of so much more. It's the key to unlocking the full potential of the Note 4, and from the moment you take it out, you're taking the first step in unleashing that potential for yourself. And it does it in a number of original ways. S Pen has always differentiated our large screen devices from all others on the market. So we spent a lot of time improving the handwriting ability, giving S Pen much more of the sensation of writing with a real pen. You know, that sounds great, because one thing that I hear all the time is that people want the convenience of the digital, but the feeling of analog still. But that's what we've also identified. So we've doubled the pressure sensitivity from Note 3, and with this enhanced sensitivity, her highest in the industry, on-screen noting now feels almost exactly like writing. You can note at an angle, you can spin it ever so slightly, and you still get a precise response. It can note quickly, just like a real pen. And we've added two beautiful noting options, Calligraphy and fountain pen. OK, so that kind of feature will be good for signing digital signatures, maybe, or pa perhaps autographs. digital autographs. I don't know whether I can ask you two for yours later. On later, Rachel. Call? Later, later, later. OK, well, you promised. We've also added a very powerful feature called Smart Select. It allows you to capture several pieces of content in a row. For example, a series of images from websites or different text messages from your favorite blogs. And you can take all of those that you've selected and save and share them with your friends via email or a text message. Now, let's see how David uses Smart Select in his demo. All right, back to me. So it's actually my sister's birthday today. Is it really? Yes. And Happy I'm using, birthday to your sister. I'm using the stage to, to do that, so that's a personal thing. But um, I'm thinking of sending her on a trip to Paris. Nice guy. As a Brett, that's, can I be your sister? Um, OK. That's very generous. Cool. Lovely. Done. OK, let's plan this trip. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look in TripAdvisor, OK? And I want to send her some information. So what I do is, is I open up Air Command, and I click on Smart Select. Mm -hmm. And I can actually choose images that I want to store. Very so nice. that hotel looks promising. And then let's get another one here. Bit of a cheaper option. Yeah, and I can actually scroll and then find another one right here. OK, so it, it gathers all the pictures together. Exactly. So, but a part of that is I can actually go and add some other stuff from a different source. So I want to inspire her and send a picture of Paris okay, right lovely. there. Iconic. OK, and of course. It's unimaginative, I have to say. Yes. <laughs> um, and I have to, it wouldn't be a message without a happy birthday message. Well, so. you're a lovely brother. And all those images are just shoved together. Yes, together, right here. I click back onto this smart select grouping here, and I see everything I gathered. And I can actually edit things. I can remove things right here, like that. Very easy, very intuitive. Yep. And then what I can do is I can send it in an email very easily. Open up a new email. All I do is just drag and drop. Nice. And oh, that's lovely. There you go. And it's done. It's as simple as that. And it's done, and you send it right away. And also, there's this. Yeah. Thank you. But S Pen can move beyond just being a pen and do some of the same things that you're used to and used to be able to doing with a mouse. So as the florist is doing, you can select several images at once by clicking and dragging, just like a mouse. And you can share them right away. I'm going to peer so, over so I can have those. For sure. So what we've been used to is you just click each photo that you want, right? Everyone knows that. But now you just click the button, just click and drag, and just select it. Very simple. Well, it, very simple indeed. And very, there's something lovely and familiar about it, just the same way as you do it on a laptop. On a laptop. Exactly. So, like, very useful. You can also do it with text. So if I say we're at a, a website, I can just click, I drag, and I can 
click and drag again. So you can, multi you can copy multiple spots at once. Mm, lovely. Nice feature. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And you're going to love how S Note uses our advanced S Pen to the fullest. We've added an S Note widget so you can access Note in four really quick ways. You can write a note, snap a note, type a note, or speak a note. So whenever and wherever you have an idea, you'll never miss the chance to make a note of it. And we found a way to write without actually having to write. For when you need to copy something very quickly, perhaps, like from a whiteboard in a meeting. You could use Snap Note to capture the image and then edit it. I see. So just, I mean, that gives me images. If I'd have had that at uni, it would have been amazing. It would have taken away so much of the pain of lectures. If I'd have gone to lectures, I'd have used that all the time, <laughs> definitely. Um, but maybe now I'm a bit older, I might use it for my recipe book, take a, a picture and add my own notes. So maybe ne ne more chocolate next time, usually for me. Uh, right probably time. not if I'm making lasagna. I'm, I'm digressing. You, you're right. Carry on. Snap yeah, note. not the lasagna, hopefully. But Snap Note, it's a great feature, and we made it really simple. All you do is press the Snap Note button on the S Note widget and use the camera to take a picture of the info you need. And even if the picture is tilted, Note 4 adjusts the angle of the photo so that it makes it straight. Another good thing for students. Yes. In case they've had one the night before. Yep, in an auditorium. Then when you press the Convert to Edit button, that's exactly what happens. You can edit, change colors, resize, or annotate the photo as you wish. I see. So you, you literally can't do that kind of thing with your finger, which is why you need the S Pen and why it really does add something extra to the smartphone. That's right. I get it. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the new S Pen. Now let's move on to our fourth category, the camera. Yeah, well, taking photos is such an important feature on a smartphone now. I've caught myself calling my phone my camera on so many occasions. Um, but this really is a competitive area of the smartphone market. And quite frankly, it's not all about the stats, is it? Well, you're absolutely right, which is why with Note 4, we're going beyond the numbers and focusing on ease of use and real quality photographs. That's why we've made Note 4 with superb cameras front and back. Note 4 has a, four, a 16 megapixel back camera with smart, smart OAS, that's optical image stabilization, and 3.7 megapixel front facing camera with an f1.9 lens. That's why when you're using your either camera on the Note 4, your photos will always be clear and bright. And you know, you can't really talk about cameras without mentioning the selfie. I mean, it's a phenomenon now, isn't it? People are taking literally millions every day. And there was even that monkey that took one. Did you see it? Yes. Uh, we want to help everyone take better selfies and more easily, even though right now, right now, we're not currently focused on the monkey mark. Well, maybe next year. Maybe. So with Note 4, we've improved the front camera to capture up to 60% more light. So even under low light, you'll get brighter and sharper images. Right. OK, so 60% more light. It will definitely improve the quality of photos. Um, but it won't help you take a steady shot, which is another challenge with selfies, isn't it? Exactly. So we've used the heart rate sensor on the back of the Note 4 as an additional shutter button, so you have a steady hand to take the shot. There's virtually no motion, so it doesn't generate any shake. All you do is you oh, simply hang on. cover it. One opportunity. And uncover it. <laughs> <laughs> you photobombed us. Did I get in? There you awesome. go. You made it a lot better, actually. <laughs> Love it. So better photos, better selfies, and everyone's happy. You can Photoshop me out of it later. Thanks. Thank That's why we widened the front camera's viewing angle from 77 degrees to 90 degrees. So now you can get even more friends into the shot. And even better, we've got a wide selfie mode where you can pan the camera from left to right through 120 degrees, <laughs> giving you a brilliant panoramic shot with the front camera. You know, this is brilliant. Recently, I was on a trip with some girlfriends, and we coined something that we hope we invented called the lifty. So there were 15 girls in a lift. We attempted it. It wasn't the best success, like you say, because it's just hard. So maybe the wide selfie mode would have helped us. If the lifty ever takes yeah, off, right. I'm going to use it. So we don't have a lift on stage right now, but why don't we try the wide selfie with the audience? Yeah. With this audience? OK. Yeah. Well, this is going to require a bit of audience participation. So if the beautiful people could make yourselves more prominent and everyone else just duck down for or this, put your we hands want a nice up. photo. Thanks, guys. OK. okay. All right, we're going to do it on three. One, two, three, wide selfie. Cheese. 
it does take a couple of seconds. So thanks for the cheers there. It's just processing. Right, let's check and out the this beautiful result. photo. Make sure I've everyone got my can eyes see shut. it. It's okay. <laughs> you still look good. It's okay. We will, we will. We got in there. They'll go through the wires. And that's the wide angle we think. Great shot. <laughs> so now let's take a look at the back camera. With 16 megapixels and high precision smart OIS, you get more stable pictures, even in a shaky situation. The other benefit to smart OIS is it shows up in very low light settings. Before with DIS, even though you got great pictures in low light, it took longer to process because the camera had to synthesize multiple pictures into one. But now with smart OIS, you get the same great pictures, but faster. Now, we all have those days where you don't know if you're gonna get through on a single charge, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice so nice. wouldn't it be helpful for those times when you can charge your phone, that it happens really fast? And with fast charging, you can go from zero battery to around 50% in 30 minutes, when it usually takes an hour. So zero to 50 in 30. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Yeah. That's a great. An ultra power saving mode, which was such a hit on the Galaxy S5, is also now on the Note 4. The battery capabilities of Note 4 are the first steps that Samsung is taking to address the power issues on our mobile devices. Okay, well, we've seen a lot of features that involve the visual, um, but what about the phone and the audio side of things? Because it's easy to forget that the Note 4 is still a phone, after all. Absolutely, and it's a great phone. We've enhanced the voice recorder on Note 4 with a couple of interesting features. As you can see here, actors are sitting around a table rehearsing their lines. The Note 4 is tracking them. OK, well, it's intrigued me, but I don't feel fully filled in. So what's the tech here? Well, Note 4 has three new microphones to enhance the voice recorder. In meeting mode, the new feature you saw in the video, you can record sound from up to eight distinct directions and then selectively replay the recording by direction. Interview mode is directional recording with ambient noise suppression. Ideal for journalists because it's perfect for recording two people in a noisy environment and then playing back one voice very clearly. And Note 4's improved noise cancellation helps when you're talking on the phone, especially when you're on speakerphone. We've introduced new content and accessories that allow people to customize their phones and make them more personal. We have a great lineup of accessories, including four covers. We have the S-View cover, mm -hmm. the Flip Wallet, the S-View Wallet, and LED cover, which come in a variety of colors and two very stylish designs. <laughs> and we've also collaborated with Swarovski to create a very special oh. crystal back cover. Okay, now you're talking.